Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. So this is the new playlist which I am starting on uh, solving SQL challenges. And this is challenge number one, city route mapping. What is this challenge? Let's understand. So in this case, we are given a table and the table name is city. Where we can see two columns, ID and city name and uh, here we can see five entries in this table so let us try to understand what they are expecting in output so this is nothing but the source destination city relationship so one thing for sure we can understand that we are about to map each and every city okay so in output we have to create two columns first is source second is destination and uh, these two columns will have the mapping for two different cities okay and along with that we need to keep few points in mind like the same city cannot be mapped with itself for example delhi cannot be mapped with delhi and that's what we are observing in output we don't have delhi in source as well as destination for the same row similarly for the other city so in every row source and destination will have different city name and the next point which we need to consider is Let's say if we have city one in source and city two in destination, the another row cannot contain city two in source and city one in destination. That means the reverse mapping will not be considered as a different row. Okay. So once the mapping between city one and the city two is done, it cannot be reversed and cannot be considered as a new row. Okay. That means the combination should be unique. So these two points we have to keep in mind in order to generate this output. Okay, so let us try to formulate the query and uh, see how we can get this output. So I have already created a table called city and inserted data into it. So let me select that table. Let me execute this one. See, this table has five rows. Okay. Now let us write the query in order to achieve the required output. So first let me select everything. Select star from city. Let me give alias name as source src. Then uh, I'll perform inner join with same table. And this is also called as self join. Okay. And this time I'll give it a different alias name. Say destination. Okay. Now, when we perform joins, then we need to give some condition that uh, on which key we want to perform joins, and that we have to provide here on SRC that means this source table. Now, if we observe the table, we can perform the joins on this column. So, let me write this as dot id, then less than sign, then another table which is destination again dot id what is the meaning of this line i'll explain in a bit so what is the first column which we want we want city from source table and uh, let us give an alias name as as source okay uh, there is no name okay it is city name sorry yes now what was the second column name second column name was destination as per the output right and uh, that we have to get it from this table dot city name as destination now let me execute this query see we are getting the exact same result now let us understand this query what we have written here so first thing is we are performing self join here okay which means we are joining the same table correct here the important line is this line what is the meaning of this one so let me go to the slide let me move to the next slide see 
this is the same query which we have written here right now this is the important line which we have mentioned in on condition so what is the meaning of this so if you see the column so from the first one that is source we are using this id column let me open and work query window okay so you can consider this okay so you can consider this table the output which we are getting as source src and this same ideas we have given in this query right so this is the first table and second table is destination which we have given here okay so from the first table which is source we are taking this id column which is this one and from the second table which is destination we are taking this id column which is this one okay now what is the condition this id which we are getting from the destination table should always be greater than this is the greater than sign right greater than this source id value okay so what is the meaning of this one let us understand this so if i go to the slide so here if you see this source dot id which we are getting from this table first table and destination dot id we are getting from this table now just try to understand this line so here in first row the value is 1 and the second row value is 2 so is this satisfying this condition 1 less than 2 yes for the second row 1 3 again the condition is satisfied similarly for the third row fourth row and for the fifth row the source id value is 2 and the destination id value is 3 so again this 2 is less than 3 yes so this is again satisfied so basically whatever i am showing you here is nothing but the values which have already satisfied this condition but in the back end it will develop all the possible mapping like 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 and 2 1 also but 2 1 has not satisfied this condition that's why in output we are not observing this 2 1 okay it has been removed because we have provided this as an on condition okay so all the possible 10 rows which was providing this condition is here what you are observing okay and based on that we are fetching the value from the source and destination and this is what we are getting as an output okay and the same thing you can perform using greater than sign logic will be similar the only thing is the id value which we are getting from the source table this time it should be larger than the destination table id okay let me run it it will just change the sequence of the uh, rows but the value and uh, the total data will be same see again we are getting 10 rows and if you compare previous output with this one it will be same okay so this is what we have performed here in place of less than sign we perform greater than sign so this is how the this on condition will control the output okay in on condition we have provided src dot id greater than destination dot id so this on condition is generating this query and based on that we are calculating this city name from the source and city name from destination and this is what it is giving us as an output okay so same thing it is pointing out like output would be same in both the cases okay only the sequence will change like in first row we were getting some other values but in total if you compare these two tables are same the previous output one and this current output value these two are same and you can cross check it okay so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching so we'll come up with different challenges in next video so please stay tuned and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure to hit the bell icon to receive notifications
about the new video updates. Thank you so much. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.